I'm reviewing Ali Barter's album, A Suitable Girl. Ali Barter is sweet and angry, dark and light, deep and shallow. She is whatever she wants to be, and that's the message she's putting across in this uncompromising album of pop rock. As soon as I heard this record, I was transported back to the 90s, to the era that created bands like Garbage and The Cardigans, and which Barter has clearly taken inspiration from. Heavy guitar riffs juxtaposed with sweet vocals as she sings on the feminist anthem girly bits, calling out one of the most insidiously sexist comments that every woman has encountered. Give us a smile, baby. Act like a real lady. Throughout the whole album, Barter invites you to underestimate her just so she can hit you with the kind of mosh-worthy guitar solo that shows up on the track Far Away. She can be earnest too. On the ballad Tokyo, she sounds melancholy and wistful and reminded me of a band she says she has been influenced by, Smashing Pumpkins. But honestly, she's at her best when she's calling people out on their shit. But you don't understand what it's like to be a man, she sings on Girly Bits, apparently quoting an ex-boyfriend. The sound isn't revolutionary, but it's a throwback to music that deserves to be heard again. If this is the beginning of a 90s revival, then I'm completely on board. Ditch the synths, break out the guitars, and let's get Ali Barter to lead us out of this mire of misogyny. So, um, anyone want to tell me what it's like to be a man? <laughs> if only you understood. Yeah, Nobody yeah, knows yeah. the troubles we've seen. Nobody knows our sorrows. I couldn't possibly get it. I don't know. Well, you, you wouldn't I, understand. Um, I mean, you're pretty, but you're only a girl. Oh. I'll just smile. This is this is this is uh, what the album's all about. No, but it, it, you do um, realise the kind of crap. Like she's great at writing mm. about the crap that you deal with, and it, it is uncompromising. That that girly bit song mm. is just it's it's blatant in the forefront. I really like the um, the cigarette song as well, which is yeah. a slightly more subtle way of saying the same thing. Basically, you know, don't ask me for a cigarette. You know, it was a boyfriend who had just basically left her, her in his shadow. He was always the dominant person mm. and she's like, no, nah, fuck off. Mm. And it's, yeah, it's rad. I think musically, like this, there are a couple of nights ago, I was actually kept awake by some of these songs yeah, cool. in my head. That's, that's, that's cool. How, that's how mm. I catch, well, no it's kind of cool. It's cool mm. to talk about now, not cool, <laughs> not cool <laughs> a couple of nights ago. <laughs> but that's how catchy, there are some really mm, yeah. super catchy songs here. I think she's got a great way with the pop hook. Um, my only concern with this record is I think it's a bit polite. Not lyrically, but I feel like sometimes when you know she steps on the the distortion pedal and really gives it a bit of welly with her voice, I feel like there's just not enough grunt. Right. So is it maybe feel, a production I, thing, I, or I, don't just know, but a... I, th I think it's a mix of things. I yeah. think it just feels like there's a, a little like bit of a smooth edged kind mm. of bubble around the record, mm. where there are moments where I think you could really just have a little bit more grit in there, and, and I don't think that grit is there. I, there it's that's... quite clean, isn't it's it? It's quite clean, yeah. yeah. I think mm -hmm. the, the 90s element of it, I, I would have liked a bit more right girl and a little mm. less, maybe a little less belly, Yeah. Uh, for example, because yeah. yeah. I think... A little um, more babes in Toyland. Yeah, yeah, just same as you. Just, I, I would have liked it to have uh, put a bit of punch behind the lyrical punch, mm. but they're good though. I'm wondering if it's something to do with her voice because it is quite sweet, you know. Mm. Mm. Um, but then I think of other bands that have been around with that sort of very sweet mm. vo voice, like say the Cardigans who I mentioned, and they managed to, I think, to create maybe a heavier sound like what you're talking about. It's quite a nice juxtaposition maybe. though, that sweet yeah. voice. Like mm. there is something quite innocent almost to, to hearing those lyrics come from that voice. Mm. Yeah, I was hearing stuff like um, Veruca Salt and Elastica. Mm. And, and, I, and, yeah. Came to yeah. It, yeah. and I don't like to make, you know, you know a woman singing, so we just compare yeah. it to women, women yeah. bands, but... Ali's voice is so versatile that mm. you can't, you know, guys can't sing like that. There's a bit of a few blur moments, but then I realised I was probably more thinking about Elastica than blur. If this album was made back in the 90s, the production would be a lot rougher, I think, mm. because you don't have the, 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 the technology we have now, so maybe it was hindered by the fact that it's so easy to make stuff sound pristine mm. these days. And that's, I mean, again, that's a personal taste thing. Yeah, There's, totally. I, I, pre I prefer to have a little roughness to go with with the overall message of the album, but if you if they set out to make a pop record, then yeah. they mm -hmm. made a good pop record. Yeah. But just imagine how good this record would have been if it had been made by a bloke. <laughs> <laughs> she did well for a girl. She did Don't well. ask me for a fucking cigarette. <laughs> well, I, I feel like, as I said at the end, uh, this could be some sort of 90s revival charge. And I do feel like a, there have been a lot of particularly female artists lately that I've yeah. noticed have been bringing that back and have been referring and referencing back to that era. Well, and one of them's on the show this week. 
exactly. So. Um, Alex Leahy is another one I would think mm -hmm. of. And, and I like this because I think that it's a time when, when women sort of started to say something really interesting and maybe they just got stopped at a certain point, mm -hmm. but I think it's coming back again. Mm. Um, but look, I think Ali Barter is definitely an artist to watch and I give this album three and a half stars. Mm -hmm.